Yo, yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Dashing, and we're back for another dual review Yu Gi Oh! dual review. So let's check out uh, our longest game so far. <laughs> oh my god, I, I kind of forgot what the hell this was. Why did it take like 38 turns? But yeah, I I'm sure we'll see why uh, soon enough. So we're using True Draco. This is a new card I incorporated to the deck just to see how it would perform, uh, which is Strike. So if one of our cards gets negated, we can use this and just pop everything. But yeah. Because I, I, I kind of wanted to use this card, but I needed it to be used on a deck that, you know, activates a lot of shit. And True Draco definitely activates a lot of shit. So yeah, we offer uh, Heritage for Dino might get to pop the backline, pop and uh, attack the Mon. He summons the Kaiju, okay, okay, not bad. Summons Trap Tricks, so we're playing Trap Tricks. I have an idea what this deck does, but the Mons itself, you know, uh, I still forget from time to time. Yeah, they do have Mons where uh, they can get... Uh, cards from the deck like holes right cards with holes he actually wastes raigeki just to pop our mon someone's kularia what the hell is this gonna do uh okay special summon another trap tricks Okay, we can just heritage here, summon maiden, pop one of the back lines. I specifically popped that because I saw that um, bottomless was here. So we can at least clear the back lines. I'm able to chain the effect and uh, get uh, Ignis. Hmm. Okay, we go for demise. Activate this card, return some of our cards. Keep the deck healthy. Activate it for an extra summon. Pop the, the other back line. Okay, so he can't use that card twice in the same turn. Alright. Activate uh, Heritage. Get an extra draw. But, you know, since we use Demise, it's gonna get discarded. Offers that Mon. Or Sera. Someone's Mantis. Chain the effect. We can keep our backline heavy. Do I put it in the back? No, I keep it on hand just in case he has Duster. Because, you know, these decks will have Duster, you know. Uh, backline decks are very stolly. So, you kind of want to have um, backline clear. Because if you're, like, in a mirror match, that's going to be very bad we're able to take that mon out i could actually use return now summon the other ignis so we have two attackers on the field activate the effect again so the other good thing about this effect is uh since we're able to draw some of our true draco cards um we're able to like get um some of our other tech cards during the normal draw he goes for a special summon. Summons this one. I activate um, Heritage. Or no, Apocalypse. Um, destroy Heritage. Now apparently, I think this is... Yes, this is... This is actually the reason. <laughs> this is the reason why the game took so long. So, and I just got Monarch Syrup. Damn. So the thing is, this Mon is unaffected by trap cards, like every trap card. And because of that, we are unable to take this out. Uh, this is fine. We can just pop that by using the graveyard effect of Heritage. Yep. In hindsight, I shouldn't have popped that because uh, for one thing... It's gonna drain his HP. 
I activate like Monarch Serap this turn. Uh, we can just fast forward here. Uh, just to see if we can pop this. I think I try it out. I pop one of our cards here. Yep, special summon in the end of the turn. Use Apocalypse. Pop the Disciples. Yep. Yep, so the fact that it's, uh, its defense did not drop, or the stats itself, that already means that it's immune, totally immune. I even try it right there. I pop the return, and that should allow me to pop the other Mon. Now, this Mon just got summoned, so it's under the effects of a rock. So we can pop this Mon, but um, as you can see, we have no way of taking this out. The only way we have is uh, Diagram. We have to get Diagram. And that's going to boost our attack and then we can take it out through battle. So it's just very interesting we're completely stalled by this mon. So yeah, these turns, these turns are pretty irrelevant. Because there's nothing he can do uh, to us. And we're kind of just, yeah, there, there's going to be a phase where just, you know... Uh, going through the motion. So he goes for a duster there. Doesn't really matter at all. At all. Yeah, because in the next turn, we can just fill up our backline again. That was also kind of concerning for me to use, like, Disciples, because, as you as you know, uh, the, more, the more cards we bring back to the deck, the longer it could take for us to draw the... Apocalypse, or no, 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 uh, Diagram. So yeah, all these all these things we're doing doesn't matter at all. Very negligible. Um, as far as I know, I'm just, I just keep popping it just to uh, make sure there's no surprises, right? We have resources anyway. We have like a seemingly infinite amount of resources. Oh, check that out. Check that out. I wonder... I think he could have negated that. He could have negated that, but he fucked up. I activated Apocalypse, dropped its stats, and he wasn't... Uh, he didn't negate it. I'm, I'm pretty sure he could negate that, because I think I'll use it later on, and he does try to negate it. Yeah, so he negates our duality. I activate my effect. Activate uh, return. Yeah, he can negate the return. Yeah, I, I finally reveal like the witch strike tech, but yeah, it's gonna be negated. So yeah, whatever. <laughs> Uh, we're just able to smash it since we already dropped its stats. I use Disciples again, replenish the deck, which eventually prolongs the game even more. Uh, this ends at turn 38. We're at turn 28 right now. I'm surprised he still has deck. Ghost Monster Reborn. We chain, get more resources. Monarchs erupt. So whatever's coming to the field isn't gonna do shit. All right, brings back that mon, but yeah, monarchs are up. He's not gonna be able to use that. Negate. Yep. We go for an attack. We're not able to smash it. Oh yeah, this mon has like an ability where we can't like smash cards. We can't, like, destroy it through battle or card effect. Yep. You only has 400 left. Go for return. Just replenish. Yeah, we, we try to pop it again. <laughs> just in defiance, almost. I finally draw diagram and holy shit. Summon the five gods. 
take them all out and end this fucking duel <laughs> holy shit I mean I love grind games but that that wasn't a game that was just you know it was just like for formality purposes okay so from a very long game to a very short game just two turns so um, if I'm going first that means I get to set up and he's not able to break if he goes first I'm able to just uh, OTK so I'm going first all right um, our hand is not good but I am I, I was able to like learn how to do like the the actual combos like more polished so even if I don't have misc baby or um, OV on hand uh, there's still pathways to do the the standard combo so shout outs to like the discord for like uh, giving me the guides on how to do this yeah someone raptor pop the baby we can get another baby here so the Koribo the Koribo is going to serve as our non dinomon bring back the raptor pop it so this is like the consistent dino since we're not using golem we're using three raptors instead and it just it just it's like night and day when it comes to like the consistency of the deck we're able to pop the baby get the rex get chimera summon the other raptor offer the three apolosa yep Apolosa comes out offer the other two borrow load or load level two yep go for pill summon tyranno defense position rex is gonna come back and we can make i believe lagia yep lagia so the reason we make lagia is uh we already have like two omni negates this is like an omni negate this is like a like a judgment this is um monster effect okay so here's the thing he used droplet but the way you beat this combo is you have to droplet everything you have to droplet everything because if you just droplet uh borrow load i still have three negates here i still have a face down uh, tech here and i still have judgment here so uh he didn't really have a good way of beating it because you know to beat this you need to like discard four and that's like his entire hand face four thousand we negate that summons this one we still have apolosa we can negate i think he i think he was confused he thought i summoned dolka not lagia if we got Dolka, then he could have done the combo. But since we got Lagia, uh, we're able to negate that. So yeah, that's going to be the video. If you guys like the content, like, comment, subscribe. If you want to support your boy even more, links to Patreon down in the description. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.